Sherlock Holmes is the most portrayed television and film character ever. Holmes inspired characters on The Mentalist, House, Psych, CSI, Monk, Law and & Order, and even Batman, and all of them are scientists. Hey Gumshoes, I'm Trace and you're watching DNews. Even though Sherlock Holmes is fictional, he gets people excited about logic, reason, and science, which is not always an easy thing to do. Still today, more than 100 years after publishing, Sherlock's character shows science in action. He uses the scientific method, he eschews hunches for logic, he practices cold, obsessive, antisocial scientific stereotypes, and some have gone so far as to say he's mildly autistic. This Victorian era sleuth got so popular in part because of the compelling stories and good writing, but also because of timing and human nature. For many hundreds of years, science was practiced only by the privileged. Famous scientist Charles Babbage created the Difference Engine, which was kind of like an early calculator, one of humanity's oldest computers and a marvel of engineering, but he was able to do so in part because of his family's wealth. The publishing of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes brought a great combination of logic, reason, imagination, and character flaws, which give Holmes a rare level of humanity and accessibility. Science is part of human curiosity and organization. The scientific method had been around for thousands of years, with ancient Egyptians and philosopher scientists like Aristotle using it to answer their questions about the world around them. Now, detectives use chemistry, physics, psychology, mathematics, forensics, and a variety of other topics to solve crimes, something Sherlock Holmes was doing a hundred years ago. He was so good at chemistry, by the way, he received the honorary fellowship from the Royal Society of Chemistry, which is usually for Nobel laureates and, you know, real people. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle talked about how Holmes would play music, meditate, or even ingest cocaine to stimulate his imagination and his intellect. We at DNews have talked about all of those things over the last year. We don't always endorse them, but whatever. Science has its own set of rules, guys. The new show does the same as these classic stories, using mind mapping and memory palaces to create or recreate scenes of the crime and place clues. Imagination and science, working together, I'm loving it. Who is your favorite Sherlock Holmes? Is it Dr. House? Or Maybe the new Benedict Cumberbatch, or perhaps a classic like Peter O'Toole. Talk about it below, and then subscribe, so that we can see you next time on DNews.